What is up guys, it's your boy Epic Blades Gaming here and as you can see we have the PS5, I just got it. Um, I'm actually on my lunch break right now doing this recording and I just wanted to show you guys what it's like to unbox the PS5, what you can expect from it and I will also be doing, uh, I'll say like some visual comparisons as well for the PS5 specs. So I hope you guys enjoy. So what we're doing first is uh, taking this like, I guess, sealant tape part at the top off. And please don't judge me for uh, the view on here. I don't have a tripod to put my phone on. So instead I will just be using my left hand to hold the camera to try to get into this thing. So there's two things you have to detach from it. There's like the PlayStation sticker and then of course like the regular sticker. And guys, I'm not gonna lie. This box is actually pretty freaking heavy. Uh, let's see, can I just lift it up? Nope, so one sec. So we got the box out of the initial PS5 box and now we can hopefully easily open this box up. Uh, okay, there we go, making some progress. That's like instructions on the box letting you know how you're supposed to go about it with unlocking everything. Okay, so let's just have this standing up. So, of course, we're going to get the instruction book for the PS5. And within this box, we also have the power cable coming up top. And, of course, we have the nice, smooth new controller. Let's move that out the way. Oh man, this feels nice. This is a nice controller and like the color on it, since you know like when looking on the box, it looks like it's just like straight white, but this is like a nice like pearly gray white-ish color. And the buttons look nice too. It's like a nice little glass transparent look for it. Oh man, this feels nice. It looks nice too. So we took off the top part of the box and it looks like we have the charger for the controller. It's a USB-C charger, so that's really good. It's gonna be like faster download or charge speeds on it, I'll say. As well as, I think this is like the case uh, mount on it. Okay, so I got it out of the little film protective cover it had. And yeah, I believe this is for the the PS5 to like to mount it. Um, there's like this screw part on it. I don't know if this is just like for the horizontal mount. I got to, I have to look back into it, but I held off on actually watching these unboxing videos. This is the HDMI cord. Yep, it's the HDMI cord for the PS5. Always comes with one. Sadly, with the PS5, we don't get a microphone like those cheap microphones that came with the PS4. But I mean, by now everybody should have like a pretty decent headset that's better than the default headset that PlayStation or Sony would give us. So now we get to we get to the bad boy right here. Oh man, I'm gonna need both hands for this, so we're gonna do a little quick cut cutaway and just, uh, you're gonna see this thing out of the box. So here we are, guys. Uh, it's now about getting this cover off the PS5. And man, this is smooth, oh my gosh. So, let's see, yeah, this is like the mounting part I was telling you guys about that came with the PS5. This looks like it's the front of the PS5. There's the disc drive. Yeah, guys, I got the disc drive PS5. Um, I'm pretty sure like I have it backwards or upside down. No, I don't think so. Yeah, because there's the power port, HDMI port, Ethernet port, and then your two USB ports in the back. So let's see about uh, standing this thing up to get a look at it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this, smooth. I think I'm actually keeping standing up too since when I do recordings, um, I'm in my PC room slash gaming room slash work room and this is gonna be a beautiful thing to have there. Oh my gosh. So there we have it for unboxing it guys. Uh, coming up real quick is about to be just some visual comparison, I guess we can say for the PS5. If not, it'll just be a video of what the PS5 just looks like on the UI when you load it up. So guys, here we are. I had to disable uh, one of the PS5 
slash PS4 features that makes it so you can't use a capture card uh, on the console. So I logged in and just made like a generic user. Um, and hopefully this is all being picked up uh, audio wise. So yeah, it's just that user one, but I'll just go through and show you guys what it's like basically when you're trying to add a new user. This looks smooth as heck guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, oh, accidentally pressed the wrong button. All right, we can get started and add an actual user and agree to these terms, yada, yada, yada. And then here's the cool thing. You can either sign in by typing in your email and password, or you can open up the app uh, on your phone. If you have the PlayStation app downloaded, you can scan this QR code. Basically, when uh, they tell you go to like settings on there and it'll say uh, sign in on PS5. And then I can enable my camera, which I'm doing right now, and I'm about to just scan it and boom, it just signed me in. So let's get in guys. Uh, this is like extremely smooth. So I'm hoping, uh, oh wow. Okay, so you can adjust your privacy. So uh, can you choose multiple stuff? Cause uh, I'm, I'm definitely like all three. It doesn't really matter to me. I guess I'll just say I'm a team player. Privacy, team player. Allies and rivals can adjust display area. The circles should fill the screen without showing black borders. If the circles are cut off. Oh, okay. I already had it set up. <laughs> Download media apps. Oh, snap. So you can finally kind of like select which because I don't use Peacock, but I use these other ones so I can download this. And I already have my PS5 connected actually to uh, my Ethernet cord. Amazon Prime Video. Alrighty, guys, there we go. It uh, downloaded and installed those apps already. And here we are on this. Ooh, this is smooth. <laughs> oh, man. Let me let me see about going. Oh, it said my name wrong. It's oh, come on. I hate that. Oh, come on. So first off, I'm going to go to these settings and see about uh, turning off this like speech thing. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my library and i'm going to see about installing uh, some games and seeing how those go i can download all this stuff wow we're just going to start off with bugs bug snacks um we're going to download that see how fast that downloads um and hopefully that'll be ready for me to show you guys what it's like to play that Woo, finally guys so if you want to turn off the screen reader you just go to accessibility and go to screen reader just turn off screen reader so that way you won't have it actually like reading off everything to you that's like a default uh setting on it so what i did though guys is i started the bug snack download hopefully that finishes up soon so i can just show you guys what it's like when you go inside the playstation 5 games let's check out the store though wait wait is this just the store like i just click on store and it instantly just Pops up like, okay, this, it's interesting. I'll say that. Whoa, 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 wait. They got Temtem on PS5 already? Oh, snap. I didn't, wait. Does that mean I can get it on the PS4? I did not know that. I've been playing on PCs. If that's the case, I'm about to restart Temtem for the playthrough on the channel. And I'll be doing it on my PS5. Like, bump that. I'm getting these trophies, man. So, oh man, this is this is smooth, guys. I hope you guys are like enjoying this. Uh, aside from that, I also know I have other games I need to start installing too. Bug Snacks is almost done. I didn't, I wasn't sure how big of a file it would be. It's taken quite a bit of time, which I'm actually surprised about. But let me see. Okay, so L1, R1 is to go from games to media. That makes it way smoother. I'll say that. Um, it looks like there's no like real shortcut to going to your game library. So yeah, I have Watch Dogs. Uh, I bought it on PS4, but again, you can play any of your PS4 games on your PS5, but Watch Dogs, I believe is getting a uh, PS5 upgrade. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think like where, where my 2K21 is. Don't mind all the games I have. I don't have a problem guys. Oh, there we go. I passed it up. All right, guys. So it looks like Bug Snacks is ready. Uh, Watch Dogs Legion is downloading as well as 2K is about to start. So let's get into this one and just 
just do like a quick uh a quick look into how the graphics are looking like on this like i don't know maybe it's my monitor i don't know Ooh, this music's nice so i don't know what it is but it's like everything's just like really smooth and i don't know i love it like the ps5 is awesome like right now i have no complaints aside from like what i've been seeing online where people have been bricking their ps5s doing stupid stuff um i won't have that issue because i'm not trying to really connect an external storage onto my system i am literally i got the disk drive so i could plug in my disk whenever i want uh they don't take up as much space i believe and oh man oh i will say my controller vibrates oh snap so I can literally feel on my controller the thunder, the lightning and the thunder. When you when you hear it and feel it in like real life, the controller's like shaking was as well. And I like how they have like the the water drops, uh, the raindrops like actually on the screen like that. What circle to, to crouch? Yep. Oh, you, I can't like crouch and slide. This looks great, guys. Now I can't wait to like play this on like another system. Woo! Woo! <laughs> So guys, this is what I'm loving so far. The UI is really smooth and great. This graphics look amazing as well. Uh, and the audio, the controller, everything just it flows so freaking smooth. Oh my gosh, like, dang. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's gonna help out the channel a lot. I'm gonna be doing a lot more PS5 playthroughs coming to the channel. Um, I'm gonna try to finish up the Switch or uh, PC gameplays that I have started um, for Temtem. I'm pretty much sure I'm just going to switch over to my PS5 for those recordings. So I hope you guys enjoy it. But with that said, stay sharp, guys. Later.